Inverse kinematics is the process of how things like robot arms or arms in animation uh, move and how they relate between the joints. And if you've ever rigged a character in Character Animator before and you try to do some dragging with their arms, you've probably run into uh, this behavior where the arms are really stretchy and they go kind of out of control. So they have added a new behavior in Character Animator. It's called Arm IK, IK being inverse kinematics. And when you apply this behavior, your character's arms will not only fold in the right direction instead of this weird bendy stuff I got going here, but it will also prevent some of this oddball stretching that you may have encountered. Now, if you want to apply arm IK, you'll probably have to do some re-rigging to your existing puppets if you've already got puppets that are all rigged up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's dig into this version of me. The way that I currently have this puppet rigged is in his body, he has a right shoulder and a left shoulder. These are uh, new rigging options that you have in Character Animator 2.0. He has a right hip and a left hip, also new options in Character Animator 2.0. And I had originally rigged his arms so they could be dragged separately. Uh, the left arm has its own dragger behavior applied. And if you go in record mode and you look at the setup, as you scroll down, you see dragger left arm, dragger right arm. And when I had animated this guy to do his business, I had disabled one, done a bunch of right arm recording, then disabled the other, enabled left arm, did a bunch of uh, just left arm recording. And that's how I did that at the time before they've added this arm IK behavior. Now, going back to rig mode. If you have a setup like I have, it's not going to work. Arm IK will not understand what's supposed to happen. So I'm going to go to my left arm, remove that dragger. I'm going to the right arm, removing the dragger. And the only dragger that applies to my puppet is on the very top level, this guy here. This is the dragger that your puppet defaults to having here. So if you want your puppet's arm to not stay in one spot, you want it to go back to where it began, you need to go into this dragger behavior in rig mode change hold in place to return to rest. Okay, at this point we're ready to add arm IK. Go to behaviors, arm IK. Let's see what our options include. Uh, stretchiness is when you can grab that arm and pull it out super far. You might have a character that you want to have their arms stretch super far. I have a character who's made of slime and it makes sense for him to be able to stretch his arm super far, but not this human one. You have elbow strength and then you can reverse bend in one direction or another. Uh, one of the main ways to determine which way the arm bends is to move the elbow to the direction you think your arm should bend. So if the left arm needs to bend outward, forward, then the left elbow should be this way, not this way. So I'm gonna bump that left elbow there a little bit and I'm going to put new sticks that correspond with that. Okay. Check the right arm, bump the right elbow a little bit and that should do it. Okay. So we've got arm IK applied. Not gonna change any of this stuff yet. You can see uh, it's accessing the handles of the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. And my wrists still have draggables on them. Draggable tag, right wrist. Draggable tag, left wrist. Go over to record mode, preparing scene. Now, as much as I try and stretch this guy's hand, it's not gonna work. And if I want him to wave, he works fine. I let go, uh, his arm shoots straight back, so I need to go into the dragger behavior and put a little bit of a delay. 
turn duration, half a second. And really the main thing is it increased the functionality of the arms and got rid of uh, some of the weirdness in rigging and some of those defects. If I turn up the stretchiness all the way, we're kind of back to where we began where you have like a Plastic Man or Mr. Fantastic abilities with the arm. But it's still good to have a little bit of stretchiness if you really want your character to reach for something. If you have Reverse Bend turned on, it's actually going to do the opposite of what you expect to have happen. So I want this arm to wave and by having Reverse Bend uh, left and right on, it's now flopping downward. That might make sense if you have a character like a robot that you want to have function like that or even a device like a crane, but that's absolutely not what I want to have happen. So I'm going to uncheck those boxes. And I'm back to a hand doing what a hand is supposed to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.